Hey, what's going on everybody? So I've got a very fun deck for you and it wins a lot of games. So this is called the Nebula Kazoo. So pretty much all you gotta do is get Nebula down and just kind of forget about her. You can play armor on top if you like. And then you have Bishop and Angela on your other lanes. Pretty much those lanes are gonna be your main power source. And if one of them is pretty much losing, you can go back to your Nebula lane. The whole concept about this is where you can use Jeff on top of Angela, so you can move Jeff afterwards and keep boosting up Angela's power. If you can use Bast, it pretty much boosts up almost all your cards or just leaves it alone. So pretty much Bast is going to hit Ant-Man, Nebula, Iceman, Angela, Mysterio, Bishop, and Wolfsbane. Cards that it won't matter will be Armor, Jeff, as well as Blue Marvel. And the only side effect to Bast will be Kazar. Either way, if you're able to use Bassa right away, your deck just becomes exponentially much stronger. And with Kazar and Blue Marvel being able to boost up all your one costs and all your other cards, this deck just pulls out so much power, like it surprises your opponent. And very, very last turn on turn 6, you play Wolfsbane and just completely surprises them with that extra power that where they thought they were going to win that lane, Wolfsbane comes in clutch and just wins it up. Anyways, let's get into the games and I'll show you what it's like. So we can play Bast. I'm only gonna hit the Bishop, but that's fine. Should we play Bast here? Make him strong? Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I think we're just gonna ignore the left lane. And we just focus on the middle and the right. Because for sure he's gonna play, f I think he's gonna play four cards here. Never mind. Ignore everything I said just now. <laughs> We're just gonna play Jeff in Crimson Cosmos. And we'll play Kazar and Blue Marvel here if we can get the chance. But I don't think we're gonna win the middle. Depends on what deck he has. We're not sure yet. Let's see. Oh, Zabu. That might be good for us. He might not actually be able to play in Crimson Cosmos. But it doesn't matter because the Nexus is here we got to go kind of all in on the nexus okay so it's definitely zabu dark hawk he's got the nexus not good for us at all oh hear me out i i don't know if we're gonna win if anything, our best bet is to ignore the Nexus and go for Nita, Nita Villar. What do you say that? Nita Villar? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so middle and left, I think, is what we need. Oh, he's changing it. Wait, we have a chance? I wasn't expecting this. We do have a chance. I play Blue Marvel here. And then... Depending on what we get, we may be able to win this out. He has Zabu, so he can play Darkhawk Mystique last turn. Hmm. It's Nova. Killmonger? If he Killmongers. I do this, this, this. How much power is that? 11, 9 power. I'm not sure. It's only 3. It's only going to buff him up to 9. And he does have Dark Hawk. He can't play in the middle. So I'm going to just move Jeff. I'm pretty sure Jeff is going to win. But. What if we do this instead? Oh no, we no, we definitely want. Yeah, no, we definitely want. Play a card here. Make Angela stronger. Oh, this is scary. It's Killmonger. Wait, what is that card? It's Darkhawk.
and then boom. All right. Yeah, because he played Zabu, I was for sure he wasn't going to be able to play on Crimson Cosmos. There's no way. Nova Roma, draw card. Bishop, all right, nice. I'm thinking we'll play Jeff here. Bishop on, Bishop on the left. Ooh, we could play our own Nova. My own nebula. Which isn't bad either. I think it's better to play nebula now, but we want to play with the curve. I think it's okay. I think it's fine. Play nebula now. Then we'll see. We'll play bishop on the left. Jeff onto, uh, Jeff onto nebula. And we'll also play Mysteria at the same time. We'll play Bishop here on the left. We're gonna play Kazar. We're actually gonna play, play Kazar. Oh! He's playing the Storm in the middle. Maybe we should play Kazar in the middle. Or, yeah, Kazar in the middle. We can still play Jeff here, so it's fine. We might win that. Ah, uh, that's a lot of power. Maybe not. Even with Blue Marvel, it's probably not enough power. Blue Marvel. We're gonna have to focus on the other two lanes. I don't think we're gonna be able to win the middle. Alright, so if I put Jeff here in the middle, it's only gonna be four, that's nine. That doesn't do anything. But for sure, playing Syria here. Ant Man. Wolf Spain. Enchantress, okay. I think we win still. The Ant Man and then the Wolf Spain. Need plenty of power. We got armor. Oh, we also got or we got Wakanda too. So play Ant Man here. Okay, so that does hit the Kazar. That kind of sucks. Ant Man really does hurt us. Hmm. Now, do we play on Nita Villier? I don't think we do. I think we ignore it. Uh, no. But you know what? Yeah, yeah, we'll play armor in case they have Shang Chi. Oh, Morbius. We're gonna bishop middle. Could actually bishop right. Bishop Wright would actually win us the game. Pretty sure. Because Bishop's just gonna overpower all of their cards here. The only uh thing we need to be scared of is if uh, we go over nine power and he has Shang Chi. Oh, he's gonna play Nebula. So Bass doesn't actually help us, so we're not gonna play Bass. Well, Bass can get the 2 power, plus it gives Bishop power. 
We do that instead. It does lower one power off Kazar though. I think it's okay. Okay, the Dracula on the left. Means we may have to ignore the left. Because I'm assuming he's going to play Modoc here. Probably in the middle. And then Apocalypse is going to stay in his hand. So, but I think the best bet is to try to win middle and right. Not Modoc. Instead, Storm. That's a little weird. Is he gonna play Modoc now? There's no point in playing Nebula. I'm not gonna get anything from it. Play Iceman just to guarantee the right. Got Swarm. And Lady Sif. What did he have in his hand? Yeah, he has an Apocalypse. But he still loses. Oh, he had American Chavez. Alright, GG. Alright, so we got Ant-Man armor. Oh, Sinister London. Okay, we're definitely playing Ant-Man now. Now, the issue with this is playing Angela is going to be... I don't think we play Angela. Oh, not the Jeff. Hmm, Nebula would actually be pretty sick. But Nebula on Sinister London... Hmm, you know what? It's not bad. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Nebula on Sinister London. Which is good for us. Oh, well, Clintar is not good for us. Mm hmm, Nebula, uh, we'll play armor to protect ourselves. No, big bad Killmonger. And then we're gonna play Kazar here. <clears throat> That's supposed to be six. Oh, I got the plus one because of Kazari. Okay, I see. Hmm. Let's do Wolf's Bane. If he has absorbing man, we lose. Doctor Octopus. Now the real question is Wolf's been here. Got three energy left. The Mysterio Iceman. All we can really do. And then Wolf's been gonna go to the right as well. The top of the 13 power of Wolf's Bane. Oh man. Doesn't that just work out? He definitely didn't think Wolfsbane was going to come in clutch there. Wolfsbane is a surprise factor. 